What's good, guy? Tristan back here again, talking about the Manchester United match versus uh, Everton. Yeah, um, for me, I, I was at work, so I missed this match, and I watched, um, I watched it on the highlights. But uh, from what I saw, is the starting lineup. Fellaini should not start. I think that uh, Henry Mkhitaryan should have started first because he actually brings more to the club with a pace, speed and creativity, you know. Then Fellaini is just one... I, I, I seriously don't know what he does because when I saw him play live, he plays literally like a horse and, like, it's no offence to him. I don't hate him or anything like that, but I, 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 just, I, I just think that Mkhitaryan is a better player than Fellaini. So, yeah, he should have started. Um... Phil, Phil Jagielka's goal as well. Um, I think that Rojo could have been stronger. Uh, with that, and he was he was also goal side, and I think that um, Jagielka should have uh, no right in even doing that sort of kick like um in the area, and yeah, and yeah, and Rojo should have actually done better to be honest. Yeah, but um, when when Man United were attacking, uh, they did look pretty strong. Um, they had um. A, f a few chances and Pogba and Herrera both hit the ball, uh, which was pretty un uh, it was pretty unlucky and in in the second half when Dalman came off for Paul Bug for Paul Pogba, I th I th I think that Mourinho should have also took a uh, Jess Lingard off instead of playing him left back because come on he's not really a left back like for sort of saying that I, I don't think he, he could even defend that much. Sure he's he scores like good goals but he cannot defend so he should just. Uh, stuck on Luke Shaw like earlier. I don't know what his problem is with, with Luke Shaw with him. I think it's cause it's cause of the injuries that he has, but he can't control that, you know. And I think that Jose needs to actually give him a, a better chance, cause I think, in my opinion, I I I find him like a a a bit decent, you know. Then it is it, it's, it's better than having a Jesse Lingard playing in left in left back, you know. So, and when Ashley Williams did the. Professional foul with the handball uh, in the ninth fourth minute, yeah, that was a stone penalty, and it's great that Ibrahimovic scored that, and he he's he's, he's actually saved us time and time again. I actually appreciate what he actually does for the club, which is awesome. I've I've, I've always found him, uh, he's like the top like a top striker for the, for the last ten eleven years in my opinion. Um, ever since he's been um into Milan, I've I've always been watching him carefully, and uh, yeah. I've watched one of them at the club and he's always doing the right stuff for us, which is really good. Uh, but moving on as well, Man United are unbeaten in the last 20 games uh, since the 4 0 loss at Chelsea, but it's all come to nothing really because they've just remained in sixth place for the last three months as well. And it, it's really like not that good. It, it's, like, it's like 10 draws at, at home. Um, there's only eight wins from 16 matches at home as well so it's 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 not good enough and they should be taking the chances they should um like get more people um signed up in defense in the summer transfer uh the french center back from athletic bilbao and I, I like his style of play and i think that he'll be a good addition to the squad but yeah uh player ratings i say player reigns I'll say um it was Ashley Young. He was the best player until he had to come off with a knock. Uh, that's what I have to really say to be honest. It, it wasn't a, the best performance that Man United ever had uh at home this season. Um yeah, that's it. Guys, sound off in the comments below. J just tell me your opinions of what you thought of the match. Yeah, and I'll see you around guys. Peace.